Okay, folks, what we have today is uh, this is a Latvian ration, uh, field ration number one. Uh, I'm not sure if it's a single meal or a 24 hour one, but helpfully uh, it does have English translations for the context. The contents. So um, let's have a look. Gotta do that, everyone does. So, oh, we have a hundred gram piece of rye bread which looks simply like um, vacuum packed bread with a. I don't know, that's, uh, that's going to be a best before 30th of November 2018, so that's. It's a good fresh ration, or recent ration. Uh, rice porridge with mushroom, that's, that's interesting, that's a new one. That looks like, uh, yeah, raisins and cranberries, raisins and dried cranberries. Yeah, it's another new item. That we have the, um, the little Esprit stove, fuel tablets, box of matches. Bon Bonita Citrix Slices, I think. Maybe like dried fruit, something to that effect. We shall see. Maybe just kind of sweet. Beverage pack. Or accessory pack, so yeah, put it where you can see. Got. Come on. We've got four Nescafe Classics. Wet wipe. A citrus green tea. I might give that a go. I'm not a tea drinker, but that's, that's interesting anyway. Um, power gum. Spearmint. Big 20 gram pack of sugar. Another 20 gram pack of sugar. Spoon eating. What else have we got? Oh, we got some jam. Jam to go on our rye bread. Another jam to go on the rye bread. Oh, that's apricot. That one's apricot, and that one's strawberry. So we got a choice of, and then the first ever tin in the ration. This must be. What does it say? It's 250 grams. Yeah, this is chicken with rice. Okay. Smashing. Well, oh, there we go. Forgot, forgot the main course in the. Uh, I think it's going to be dessert. Right. Um, what do we have first? Porridge with mushroom. That's intriguing. Let's go with that first, eh? Right, so... Pop the porridge just into the thermos there and added 
100 ml of water and it, there's a real lovely aroma of mushrooms coming off it. Uh, it looks like there's green in there like there's herbs. I'm wondering if this is like a side dish to go with the um, the chicken and rice. Never mind, maybe somebody will tell us. So pop the lid on that, leave that to stand as per the instructions. Yeah. While we're waiting for the porridge, we'll do the uh, the citrus green tea as well, just to give it time to wear. That's a proper tea bag. Uh, right, so sorry, I'm doing this off camera. Okay, so. Put it in there, and this is a recently boiled kettle. Let's make sure that's properly submerged. Oh, better use a clean spoon for that. Okay, well, there's not much colour coming from it, but that can certainly smell a kind of weak citrus flavour, so. Let that um, let that have a steep. Um, right, I think our porridge has had about eight minutes. I don't get extra sort of pour out of there. Oh, good grief! It's kind of like um, you know, powdered mashed potato made up. Try and get it all out. Um, I'm starting to think this should have gone with the chicken and rice. I'm not sure though, I don't know. It's funny how eating habits change from country to country but um we see I don't know if you can see that it has got like what look like uh, mushroomy bits and tiny herby bits and yeah, it smells lovely it's actually kind of like um like a couscous type of thing. It's very tasty as well. Like that, yeah. But it's savoury, so yeah, it probably is meant to go with that. Hmm. Yeah, nice. Okay, we're done with that. Um, I think next what we're going to do is heat up the chicken and rice. That's what that looked like. It obviously looks, it needs to be heated up. I'm going to um, put it in a shallow pan of water or a, a bain marie if you're that way inclined. Um, give that a heat, see how it turns out. Uh, right, yeah. Okay, then, while that's heating up, let's have a look at the tea. The tea seems to have um, <laughs> taken on the colour of um. Oh man, what are you doing? Seems to have taken on the colour of a um, suspect urine sample. Oops. But. In the interest of science, it tastes like doesn't I haven't tasted it yet. It smells like sort of very weak, warmed up orange squash. You know, diluted, diluted orange drinky stuff.
and I've probably gone too weak with that but see it's hot water rather than boiling and let it stand for two to three minutes I've let it stand a lot longer than that maybe I meant to fill it full of sugar I'll do it that I not put all the sugar in that one. put about put about one in the it's not a teaspoon exactly but it's it's uh, it's a large teaspoon or a half a tablespoon or whatever you want and as you would expect that just makes it taste a little bit sweeter um, there isn't any uh, cream or dried milk in here so I imagine sugar is the only there's nothing else that you're meant to put sugar in as well you can't be you can't be meant to put like what is it you can't be meant to put 40 grams of sugar into that, one, one cup of tea. Anyway, never mind, onwards. Okay, I've been heating that up for quite a while in the, uh, like I said, in a pan of warm water. I've had the lid open so it didn't explode. Um, but uh, it's very hard to heat it all up the way through I think actually that's the sort of thing it is anyway I'll, I'll tip it out in the day and hopefully can mix that mix that in a bit better yeah it was quite uh, very pleasant tips with the juices in yeah yeah, what I was saying before about the sugar, I've just realised obviously there's four, lots of coffee as well, so not so much sugar in reality. I'm not going to try the coffee, everyone knows what Nescafe tastes like, and it's a fresh ration, so it's not going to be manky or anything. So we shall try the um, chicken with rice. Actually, tastes more like corned beef to me. Get a nice lump of lard with it. Mm. Texture's chicken like. I think there might be carrot in there as well. Right. Yeah, it's just quite a solid, like a hearty, filling, warming meal. Not sure how well it would cook on the, on the tiny little solid fuel heater stove though. I don't know, maybe it would be better. Who knows? Oh, that was good. I've finish that off for me uh, me dinner um, yeah me being me uh, I added some uh, hot sauce to it because you know it's perfectly acceptable meal just a fraction dull for dull for me so yeah I'll move on I think not exactly dessert but we shall see can we tear that open? Yes, we can't. Ah, I was wondering. Yeah, you get two kinds of jam. I think you also get two slices of bread. So we're, uh, 
yeah that looks like yeah uh, it looks like it's quite sticky doesn't want to come apart I shall use a a bluntish knife can we get in there can we get two slices oh I don't want to break it it's breaking it's starting to break I'll bring you back well I made a right mess of that but it actually smells like uh, malt loaf quite sticky to touch drier though and tastes vaguely alcoholic I don't know yeah Again, SP4, 30th of November 2018, so it should be alright. Maybe it's like, uh, yeah, maybe it's like my mum's Christmas cake, full of uh, whatever it was brandy, rum, sherry, some kind of booze. This is the um, apricot jam. That's nice. That works well. Strawberry. Mm -hmm. Nice. Even up little bits of air, strawberry seed in there. That's nice. Sorry about the chewing noises, but I'm uh, enjoying that. I'll keep the rest of that for me porridge tomorrow morning. Not me ration porridge, me ordinary, your cholesterol is far too high porridge. Just losing some cranberries. Mm. Shady bits of everything there. Yeah, nice and moist, just like, you know, brand new. Bon Bonita Citric Slices now, hang on, what are these, what are these, what does this translate to on the uh, outside of the packet? Um, ah. Caramels, candies, caramel candies. Ah, look at that! Isn't that nice? Looks like a nice selection of boiled sweets. So what we got? got three, two, one. I'll try. I'll taste a pink one, just because there's three of them. Yeah, but they are, they're boiled sweets, basically. Um, yeah, so that's that, that's quite a good ration, that, um, my first Latvian one, and, uh, yeah. Mm. Excuse me. <laughs> right, uh, thanks for watching, I think that's everything covered. I've, again, I haven't used the, the ration heat there. Um... I haven't done the, the coffee because everybody knows what Nescafe is like. Um, this stuff I'm going to add to my 
trail mix bag in those I'm going to stick in my pocket for at work tomorrow. Uh, the, the rest of the jam, as I say, is going to go in my porridge in the morning, breakfast time, ordinary regular oatmeal porridge. Uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching and um, like and subscribe and share if you want and all that kind of stuff. Ta-ta for now.